Hey guys, it's Jet here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we've got a number sequences question, but specifically related to geomet geometric patterns. So a geometric pattern is specifically where the examiner has given you a series of pictures and there is some sort of pattern that exists within the pictures and it's your job to try and identify what the next couple of pictures will be and also identify what the general picture pattern will be. So let's get into it straight away. Study the pattern in the figures below and then answer the questions that follow. So we can see that what they've given us in figure one is a single triangle. Then we've got four triangles and then we've got a combination of triangles. So we've got five, seven, oh, nine. So we've got nine triangles in that third picture. And then they've very conveniently given us this table and they've said, right, in figure one, we've got one triangle. In figure two, we've got four small triangles. In figure three, we've got nine small triangles. And figure four, they haven't given it to us. In figure five, they haven't given it to us. So the question here is obviously going to be fill in the missing numbers in the table below. So that would be there and there. Okay, so what you typically do in a question like this is to try and figure out whether or not there is a pattern that is uh, easy to identify. And the way you do that is you try to understand what the difference is between the different numbers specifically related to the number of small triangles within each of the figures. So if we look at 4 and 1, we can see that 4 minus 1 is 3. If we move on to 9 minus 4, that is 5. So the problem there, guys, is there isn't a clear pattern in terms of adding a certain number on to each of the figures. But if you have done your practice and if you've looked at special sequences, the minute you look at a pattern like this, alarm bell should be ringing in your head saying, this is a special sequence. These are special numbers. What do we notice about these numbers? Well, let's look at it from a figure perspective. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is then 16. Fantastic. And 5 times 5 must be 25. So that gets you those two marks. And all it is, is identifying the special sequence that you see in the shapes that they have given you. Now, the tricky part is they're going to say to you, right, we're happy that you've been able to tell us how many shapes are in the fourth and the fifth um, figures. But now we want the number of shapes or the number of triangles in the nth figure. So nth figure could be the 100th figure. The nth figure could be the millionth figure. It could be the trillionth figure. Okay, it doesn't really matter. They want you to give them a general term. So irrespective of whatever figure they're looking at, you're able to tell them how many small triangles are in that figure. Now, we've already identified that there is something very special about these numbers. And all it is, is it's the number in the position of the sequence times itself. How would we represent that as n? So if you were on figure n, n times itself is going to be n squared. So you know that the general term or the general term for this, the nth figure all the way, you know, out at 100, a million, a trillion is going to be n squared. So what does that mean? That means in the fifth figure, all right, the fifth figure, if we were at the fifth figure, it would be t5 equals 5 squared. And that gives you 25. So if you double check that against what we've got in the table, we can see that 25 matches exactly what the fifth figure is in the sequence. And that means this must definitely be right. And it gets you another two marks towards your total marks for the test. That's all from me, guys. Hope this helped and hope you get this question right in the next test. Until the next time. Remember to check our website for more videos. Um, also, in the meantime, have a look at our sponsor. We're so grateful to, to them for sponsoring these videos and making them possible. Find out more about them in the description below. And remember, if we haven't answered your question yet, remember you can send that question to us and we will reply with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, guys, stay epic.